Hey guys, All right, today we're going to talk about pH. Surface flow is really important too. There's quite a few variables that can affect your pH that you guys might not be aware of. So today I'm going to show you some of those things that you can do to raise your pH. Alright, not to get too scientific, but we should know what pH is. So what is pH? The pH of aquarium water is a measure of the concentration of hydrogen ions in solution. There's this interplay with hydroxide ions and hydrogen ions. And when the hydrogen ions are in more concentration, that's when the water is said to be acidic. And then when the hydroxide ions are in more abundance, that's when the water is said to be alkaline. That being said, the best measurement of pH for calcification to occur would be between 8.2 and 8.5. And obviously, calcification is what makes our corals grow. All right, so when we talk about pH in your aquarium, we're talking about oxygen as one of the major things that can affect your pH. When we talk about oxygen, we're talking about more of it. So how do we get more oxygen into our tanks? One way is water surface to air exchange. I've talked about this in my other videos. Whether it be the agitation at the top of your tank or through the overflow boxes, this is where the most oxygen can be exchanged. Another way could be the skimmer. The skimmer will generate some oxygen, but not as much as surface water to air oxygen. This won't make much of a difference if the room that your tank is in is not in an oxygen rich, so to speak, room. So there's some things you can do. I always keep a window open in my room, regardless of how cold it is, just a crack to keep some oxygen flowing. And the other thing is to keep circulation in the room with maybe a fan or some form of ventilation. You guys that have basement tanks, you'll know that you have a difficult time keeping your pH value up because there's no air transfer down in basements. Some reef keepers have added venting systems in their basement and have had great success with raising their pH. Alright, let me tell you how reverse photo period on your refugium can help stabilize your pH. It may not raise it, but it's going to stabilize it and keep it from lowering during the evening hours. During photosynthesis in your refugium, carbon dioxide is converted to oxygen. So at night, if this process is continuing, more oxygen means better stability of pH. That's what we want. The next one we want to talk about, believe it or not, is temperature and how that affects your pH. So the solubility of gas exchange, in this case oxygen, decreases with the increase of temperature. I've actually noticed my tank to look better between 75 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit because of this reason. So lower water temperature, more oxygen, and better pH. Atmospheric pressure that comes from altitude has an effect on dissolved oxygen. Re 
reef tanks located at higher elevations hold less oxygen. Salinity also has an effect. Higher salinity tanks hold less oxygen. You can't see the tank too well over here, but I'm going to move these Kenya tree over to one side and I'm going to put a little island kind of in the one-third portion of the tank make some levels just build it up I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet but I'm doing away with the seahorses you need really cool water like 74 degrees and lower and I can't keep that in here without a chiller and I don't have the money or the determination to set up a chiller in here for seahorses. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do in here. In the 10, 